Hi everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're new here, my name is Stephanie and I cover oily skin, hooded eyes, and beauty. Welcome back to my setting spray wars, today's episode five, and if you're watching this in the future, I will link all the videos down below for you. I will be testing out eight drugstore setting sprays for your oily skin, and for each of these, I will be testing them out with liquid foundation and powder foundation. Let's get into setting spray number five, and that's gonna be the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray Prime Correct and Set. This claims to be locking magic that mists on to set your look with a flawless natural finish for up to 16 hours. I tested this setting spray for two days and day one is my first impression with liquid foundation, so let's roll the tape. Today's day one and I just finished putting on all of my makeup, except for my mascara, just because I don't like to set my face with mascara on. I have hooded eyes and I don't want any mascara transfer, so let's go ahead and put this on. But of course, first, let's do a smell test. Ooh, that smells kind of perfumey, but it kind of smells like the scent of the setting spray reminds me of my childhood. I don't know what it is, but it just smells so, so good. I really like it. Anyway, let's go ahead and put this on my face. Gotta brace myself. That spray looked like it had some really heavy droplets, so. Okay, that was not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna go ahead and just press the setting spray into my face with my beauty sponge. So my makeup is looking really nice. It's looking really matte. I did bake today, so the setting spray definitely emulsified all of that powder that I used pretty much all over my face. It looks really, really good. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a close up so you guys can see. Here's what my forehead is looking like. Pretty matte. The left side of my face looking really good and really matte. And then the same thing on the right side looking really good and really matte. So now that we've seen this up close, I don't see any foundation that has been lifted from the setting spray and I don't see like any white dots or anything like that, which is really nice. I do have some high hopes because my makeup is looking so good. But of course the real test is to see how this wears at the end of the day. So I'll be right back to let you guys know. It's been 10 hours, so let's go and take a look at my face. So today wasn't as hot as it's been. Today it only got up to about 100 degrees, so it's better <laughs> considering the, you know, Texas heat that we are going through right now. So my makeup is actually looking really, really good. I do see that some oil has peaked through just the tiniest bit and it's kind of evenly spread throughout my face, so it's not like specific areas. It looks really nice. It kind of looks like a natural looking glow. I don't see really any major creasing. I am really, really liking this. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. So here's what my forehead is looking like. Not too shiny, but not matte. And then the same thing on the left side, not too shiny, not really matte. And then of course the exact same thing on the right side. So I don't mind at all that I'm not matte. I just don't want to look like an oily, greasy mess. And this looks really, really good. So day one is definitely a success. And I cannot wait to see what this looks like tomorrow with just powder foundation. Today's day two, and I just finished putting on my powder foundation. So let's go ahead and put this to the test to see if it can emulsify all this powder. Now I'm just going to press this setting spray into my makeup. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my face. So this setting spray definitely emulsified all of this powder. It didn't lift anything. Of course, I don't see any white spots or anything like that from the spray. This is looking really, really nice. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. Here is my forehead looking really good. The left side of my face looking nice and emulsified. And then of course the same for the right side. So I have a lot of errands to run today, so I'm really excited to see what my makeup is gonna look like at the end of the day, so I'll be right back. So here we are 10 hours later, so let's go and take a look at my face. Just so you guys know, I do have some mascara transfer because I did take a nap today, but we're just gonna ignore that and look at the rest of my makeup. Also, like I said earlier, I did run a lot of errands today, so I did wear a mask for a few hours and it was just insanely hot outside today, so we're just gonna keep that in mind as well. I am actually shocked with how my makeup is held up today. I thought I was gonna be a lot shinier, a lot oilier, considering the heat right now here in Texas. It got up to 102 degrees, but my makeup is looking pretty nice considering. Now I do have some creases 
in between my eyebrows and then I do have a smile line right here and then just some creasing in between my lip and my chin. But other than that, my makeup looks really, really nice. Let's do a close up so you guys can see. So here's what my forehead is looking like. Not too bad. In between my eyebrows, the left side of my face, here you can see my smile lines and the right side of my face. Again, ignore the mascara transfer. I had a really, really good nap. But other than that, I think this side looks pretty good. And then here is the creasing in between my lip and my chin. Now my makeup has definitely seen some better days, but I'm actually proud with how my makeup held up today. So when I was researching setting sprays for oily skin, I was actually recommended this version, which is the original version of the Milani Make It Last setting sprays, even though they have a matte version. A lot of people were saying that this does a really good job giving a matte dewy finish. Now, of course I had to give this a try since it's recommended for oily skin. So this setting spray does not let you feel like you are wearing a grease mask at the end of the day. It makes you feel like you just have this natural glow, like a lit from within glow, and it just feels and looks so beautiful. And I'm actually pairing it with the Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation right now, which has a natural finish. So these two together, it just looks great. I feel like I have an even glowier look and I'm not like oily. I'm not greasy. It's just nice and glowy. Now, I know a lot of oily skin people will shy away when they hear or see the word dewy. But now that you know what you know about this setting spray, do you think you would lean more towards the matte setting spray or try this? the matte dewy setting spray. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe for more content as I do upload every Wednesday and Saturday at noon central time. So keep an eye out for that. Bye.